everyone! Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Samiha Jirdia and I post videos on Scratch. So please do consider subscribing. Today we'll be adding the gameplay options to the Karina Shooter game, which was a request by Shivani Rachnale. Hope I pronounced it correctly, so let's go. Okay, so this is the game we're going to be creating today. This is the backdrop which I painted in Photoshop. This play button has two costumes, so when we hover over it, it gets highlighted. And also this mute button has two simple costumes. The next level at is the score we're going to change the level at. So once we click it, it gets selected and here we have all the options. Initially, the level score is 10, so it's highlighted once we hover over um, the others, they get highlighted. And once I select it, it will switch to another costume, so this basically has three costumes. And once we click it back, they'll glide back inside. Great, so now let's go ahead and create this in Scratch. Alright, so here I have my Karina Shooter with Levels project open. If you haven't yet watched the video, the link should be on your screen or in the description box below. So from file, we're going to save this as a copy. Okay, and here we have Karina Shooter with Levels copy. I'm just going to name it Karina Shooter 2. And as we saw previously, we have some simple sprites, so I'm just going to draw it and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe in the meantime. Alright, so here I have these sprites ready. Hope you've subscribed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with coding the play button. So for that one green flag clicked, we're going to show. And then we're just going to get a forever loop. So forever, we're going to check if it's touching mouse pointer. So what we want to do here is once we are on the play button, we want it to get highlighted. So we're going to check if it's touching the mouse pointer. If it is, then we'll switch to costume two. Costume play two, this is the costume which we want to switch to. Else we're going to switch to play one. And when this sprite is clicked, we want to broadcast a message so that we can start the game, which I'm going to broadcast start. And we're going to hide this sprite. Okay, so now let's go to the corona. And here when green flag clicked, we are setting the variable, so I'm just going to remove this when green flag clicked and we'll put when I receive start. And we're also going to just put this hide code and the setting, let's do it in the backdrop. And we'll go to the backdrop. Okay, we have these ones here. I'm going to put when green flag clicked. Okay, and we'll go back to the kernel, delete this code and now we'll come back to our rocket ship and here we're also setting game end and score for that i'm going to remove that also remove this when green flag clicked we're going to put when i receive start and in the when green flag clicked we're just going to make it hide as we don't want it to show on our title screen and we're going to show it here so i'm going to copy this to the backdrop as well and delete this from here now we'll come to our background, which is the GIF. So when green flag clicked, we're going to go to back layer and hide. Then when I receive start, we're going to show and do the code here. Now we'll come to our backdrop. So here we're going to set these and now we're going to create two variables. So first will be our level score as we're giving the player the option to choose at what score we change the level. And next will be our mute. So at the start, we want to show our variable, which is the level score. And we're going to set mute to zero, which is false. And we'll set the level score to 10. So initially let's give 10. 
Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hide the other variables which we're showing on the screen, which is score, level, count, and power. So hide, and I'm going to duplicate these two. So we're going to hide score, level, count, and power. after setting the level score to 10. And then when I receive start, what we want to do is we're going to hide the level score. So hide level score. And we want to show these other variables. All right, now let's go to the sounds button. So here we can see we have two costumes, which is costume one, the green one, and costume two, the red one for no sound. So when green flag clicked, we're first going to switch costume to costume one. So initially we're not going to mute the sound. And then later we're going to show. And when I receive start, we're just going to hide our sprite. Great, and now when this sprite is clicked, so when it's clicked, what we want to do is we want to switch the, to the next costume and we'll check if it's the green costume, then we will set mute to zero, which is false. And then if it's the red one, which means we've muted the sound, then we'll set mute to true. So we're going to switch to the next costume and then I'm going to get an if then else condition. And here we want to check if costume number is the first one, costume number equals to one. So costume number equals to one. Then we're going to set the mute to false. I'm going to use zero. Set mute to zero, else we're just going to set mute to one. And now we're going to come to the kernel where we're playing the sound. So in the hit code, start sound coin. So I'm going to get an if then condition and wrap it around this start sound coin. So I want to check if mute is equals to zero, false. So mute is equals to zero. If it is, then we'll start the sound coin, else it's muted, so there's no sound. All right, so now let's move on to the code of the next level at. So for this, what we want to do is that when this button is pressed, then we want all these options to glide out of it. And for that, first, what we're going to do is get one green flag clicked. We'll just make it go to the front layer. We'll switch costume to costume number one, which is the one it is it is at right now and once it's clicked we'll switch the costume to this one um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to show great now when the sprite is clicked we want to switch to the next costume and we'll broadcast show menu Okay, great. So when I receive start, we're just going to hide our sprite. Now we're going to come to the five sprite. And here, as we can see, we have three costumes. So when green flag clicked, we're going to switch to the first costume. We're going to hide the sprite. And we're going to make it go behind this next level at. So let's just check the X and Y. So X is 180, Y is negative 135. Okay, so go to X 180, Y negative 135. And forever, we're going to get an if then else condition. 
So we want to check if level score. So we want to check if level score is equals to five. So level score is equals to five. Then we're going to switch to the third costume, which is the selected one. And then inside the else, we're going to put another if then else. So we're going to check if it's touching the mouse pointer. If it is, then we're going to switch costume to costume two, which is the highlighted one. Else, we're just going to switch costume to costume number one. Okay, great. And when the sprite is clicked, we are going to set level score to five. Set level score to five. And now when I receive the show menu, we're going to get an if then else condition. So I want to check if the so we want to check if the next level at is the costume number two, which is the selected one, then we'll glide outside of it, else we're just going to glide inside and hide. So for that I'm going to get an equals to operator and from sensing we are going to get this backdrop number of stage so from drop down first we're going to change the stage to next level ads and here we're going to get costume number so if costume number is two selected one then we're going to show show and we're going to glide um let's say 0 0.8 seconds to a position somewhere right here. So I think this position looks pretty good. The X is negative, thir uh, negative 34. I guess we could round it to negative 30 and Y we're going to keep it constant, which is negative 135. Else we're going to glide inside. So glide 0 0.8 seconds um, to the position of the next level at which is x180 and y-135. Negative 135 and later we're going to hide this sprite. And now we're going to um, we're going to code for when I receive start, which is pretty simple. When I receive start, we're just going to hide this sprite. Now I'm going to copy all of this code into the other sprites, which is 10, 15, and 20. Alright, so I've copied the code and we're going to come to the sprite 10. I'm just going to clean up the blocks. Okay, so here, when the sprite is clicked, we're going to set level score to 10. And instead of checking if level score is equal to 5, we're going to make it 10 here. And coming here, we want to glide to, let's see, it, it's at 20 and y is negative 135, which is exactly the position we want. So for x, I'm going to make it 20 and y is going to stay constant. constant. And um, instead of gliding 0 0.8 seconds, I'm going to make it 0 0.7. Now we're going to come to the sprite 15 and here we're going to set level score to 15 and check if level score is equal to 15. Here I'm going to make it glide um let's say 0 0.6 seconds and then the x here is 73 so let's round it off to 70. Okay, now coming to 20, we are going to set level score to 20. Check if level score is equal to 20. And now here I'm going to make it glide 0 0.5 seconds. And the X here is 125, so let's make it 120. Okay, and now let's come to our Corona. So here we are. Uh, level times 10. Let's put level times level score. Alright, so now let's hide the mute and I'm just going to hide score so as we can set our level score about here. 
And now let's test our game. Okay, so let's test it. First, I'm going to just mute the sound and set the level score to five. Now let's play, great. So here the sound is not coming, great. And I've reached 400 plus subscribers. Thank you so, so much for all your support. It really, really motivates me. And I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I've learned many new things and I try to reply to most of the comments. So if you have any suggestions, requests or something I could have done better, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe to my channel, leave a huge big fat like if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on my Insta at Samiha and don't forget to watch my other videos. Bye bye!